Good morning guys, it's Lori. It is freezing outside. <laughs> We're in a winter wonderland right now. I guess that's what I call it. We got about four or five inches of snow last night and it's 20 degrees right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. Brendan's back there scraping off his blazer. I just got done scraping off the van, except for that side, because I don't want to stand in the pile of snow over there to do it, but I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that window looks like right about now. <laughs> yeah, so, all right. Oh, there it went. Some of it just fell off. <laughs> can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway. Okay, guys, so let me turn on my my defroster on full blast for a few and I'll be back. Now I can give my update. I couldn't, oh I know I don't have my seatbelt on. I couldn't do it on the way to work this morning because I did because driving across the bumpy ice on the roads was so loud that I was like I might as well just wait. But now they've got the roads pretty cleared off. At least these main roads are. Okay, so I am on my way to Walmart to get my grocery pickup and it's gonna be pretty good sized. So yeah, really have a lot of hauls this week, but I was out of like lots of things. I didn't have a whole lot of things that I needed to cook low carb for, you know, the whole family because me, John, and Brennan are going to be eating low-carb meals, and, you know, I'm not going to go into all that again, because I already have in different videos, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, while I am on my way to Walmart, I'll go ahead and show you what I had. No, I won't. I'm not going to show you what I had to eat yesterday. I was just thinking about that. I never recorded it, but I didn't record it because I thought, you know, this is getting redundant. It's not Steakums though, it was a burger. It's either Steakums or a burger, right? But yeah, I had a burger with some Dijon mustard. That was it. So I didn't put it in a lettuce wrap or anything. I just dipped it in the Dijon mustard and ate it. I do have a weigh-in for you though, and I'll put that up right there. That is down 0.6, so that's good. I'm 24 hours into my 72 hour transition period right now where I'm just letting the HCG get out of my system. I don't think it takes a full 72 hours either, but I try to stick to that. It's hard. This 72 hours is like the hardest part of the protocol for me because it's like, you know, the Friday before vacation or, or, uh, you know, just whatever you guys understand, you get it. But oh, what the heck was that noise? Anyways, distractions. Uh, yeah, another commenter. Well, she's actually a YouTuber. Her name's, uh, her channel name is Berry Babe. You may see her in the comments. She calls this 72 hour period purgatory because <laughs> you're not on the round anymore, but you're also not into the next phase yet either. So you're just hanging out in purgatory. <laughs> so if you do HCG, if you've ever done it before, you understand completely. Okay, I am pulling into the pickup parking spot right now. And how long is this? That's not too bad. I'll go ahead and tack my Walmart grocery haul onto the end of this video. So, yes, I'll see you at home. Okay, guys, I'm home. I got to show you a couple of things and then I got to start cooking. Today's John's birthday. I got to start making this hot sausage and get these mushrooms ready because I'm going to make him some hot sausage, or hot sausage, yeah. I'm going to make him some hot sausage. I'm going to make him some stuffed mushrooms. I'm going to use this sausage and some cheese, and yeah. I'm going to show you one other thing, actually, too, because I'm going to be using it. I bought these three round bowls. They're just small, but they're oven safe. Let me get my thing out because I wanted to use them to make the mushrooms in. That way, I can have them ready to eat. He's probably not going to want to eat them the second he comes home. So, if I can get it open, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, these say they're oven safe. They are uh, Pyrex, so they've got the lids for storage, but you can put these things in the oven, and it's just right for, like, a serving of the stuffed mushrooms, and he can put this in the air fryer to warm them up. So... 
that'll be perfect. Yes. All right. So now I got to get to cooking and I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay. They ate their steaks. The stuffed mushrooms turned out good. I didn't eat any, I didn't eat any of it. None of it. I was good. So I will pat myself on the back for the willpower. I've been pretty good with the willpower throughout this entire round. Pat myself on the back right now. Okay. Steaks are eaten. The stuffed mushrooms, I'll show you a picture of one. They turned out good and John said that they are the best stuffed mushrooms he's ever had and he'll never want any other stuffed mushrooms again. Is that right? That's true. So I guess they were good. I'll tell you guys how I made them. All I did was I browned up that um, Bob Evans hot sausage. I threw in literally just a handful of shredded cheese, stirred it together, Turn, turn the heat off first, threw in the cheese, stirred it together, and the cheese like just started to melt, so it was like kind of stringy. Took my cookie scoop and scooped it into the mushroom. Pulled the stem out, you know, and then scooped that stuff into the mushroom, put it in the little dishes, threw a little bit more cheese on top, and baked it for, I think I put it in there for 25, 30 minutes. So, that's it. So simple. So anyways, yeah. Next, um, I, I gotta get this grocery haul done. Because this stuff needs put away. Ooh. I'm moving my tripod. Oh, and what you see, like right there next to my giant thing of iced coffee that I'm I have brewing, that is the cake. I made a jello cake too. So one of the poke cakes that you poke holes in it and pour the jello on top and put it in the fridge yeah. and then it's frosted with cool whip. So Yep. Didn't even lick my finger. <laughs> and I did get some cool whip on my finger. Rinsed it off. <sighs> Anyways got a gigantic five pound bag of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I know I could shred my own, but you know. And I also got, if I can pick it up, I also got a giant five pound bag of mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. So let me show you one other thing I got that's not keto, okay? Not low carb or whatever. I got two Lunchables, a nachos, and a pizza. Those are for Hayden for the weekend. He likes to grab those for a little snack on the weekends. I know I could make my own of those too, and I often do, but right now it's just about convenience, really. And, and it, you know, sometimes you just do things like that for convenience, and that's okay. That's okay to do. So, anyway. It's better to, you know, make your own, shred your own cheese, whatever. Yeah, sure, but... It's okay to go for the convenience sometimes too. I got a head of lettuce. I got some celery and that is gonna have probably uh, egg salad or something like that. I'll probably eat it with the <coughs> celery. So yeah, that's what I got the celery for. Or I might put a little bit of natural peanut butter on it, but yeah, so. Honey, your phone's ringing. I also got a giant bag of pepperoni so I can prep up some pizzas and just to have for snacking. I got two packages of the low carb tortilla shells. I got this kind right here, the carb counter, five grams net carbs per tortilla shell. So that isn't something I'm gonna have right away, but they're there for like, I'm gonna be making some fajitas and stuff. And if Brendan wants to do a tortilla, then there's low carb ones. So I just have them on hand for that. Um, I also picked up the 36 count eggs. I know I'm not giving prices, but I guess I just didn't feel like it this time. <laughs> but the 36 count eggs I got, let me get this stuff closer to me, hang on. Okay, the sliced Swiss cheese. I also picked up the ultra thin provolone. I'm gonna try out some chapels with that ultra thin cheese. Ultra thin, ultra thin Colby Jack as well. So there's those. And I picked up the, the, what size is this bad boy? 32 ounce red hot wing sauce. And I also got some pizza sauce, just the great value. And it's got really good macros. So I got the big jars this time. Uh, the big, if you get the bigger jar, it's actually a better value than Dollar Tree even. So. 23.9 ounce jar. I got four of those because I'm gonna want to have those on hand. If I ever want sauce, I've got it. Hayden a lot of times likes to have um, 
sauce he eats the frozen pizzas a lot and sometimes he'll like dip it in extra sauce so that works I ordered the reduced sugar ketchup that's like like the no sugar added ketchup or whatever it is from it's by Heinz and they substituted the reduced salt or the no salt ketchup instead so I refused it I said no and I ended up going inside I went inside because they screwed up my order with my steaks so I went inside for the steaks I thought well I'm gonna look and see if they happen to have any of that ketchup and I'm gonna ask I asked they said they had seven of them in stock the guy couldn't find them and he did look he looked all over the place for him and he and I both went through all the shelves and like looked behind stuff and everything but anyways I ended up getting this great value tomato ketchup 50% less sugar I don't know I don't know I don't know how this compares to the other sugar or the other the other sugar the other ketchup so I might look up the macros on it and see but to tell you the truth I probably won't use this right away because I want to make sure I get my weight stabilized but I honestly don't like that um, no sugar added ketchup so I might just use this anyways we'll see the two pack of cream cheese I got a little can of diced green chilies and this is for a recipe and I don't even remember what recipe it's for <laughs> that's pretty bad isn't it but I did get that for a recipe I have them all printed out I'll show the, that to you guys in a video so I'm gonna go through that with you guys because that's what this is for sheet protectors I just got another pack of these because I'm running low on the sheet protectors that I use and a binder that I have a bunch of recipes in and I will do a video where I show you guys that uh, nothing else is grocery everything else is non grocery items I just picked up some clear for Brendan he asked for that and we're out of the moisturizer that compares to it's the oil-free moisturizer compares to Neutrogena some a two pack of the saline and a two pack of this um, Brendan asked for this Old Spice so I got him that and I also got this um, wax strips for my eyebrows because I, I always do my own eyebrows which I don't always do my eyebrows at all but when my eyebrows get done Almost always, I've done it myself. Sometimes I'll have it splurge and have them do it in the salon. It's not that expensive anyways, but you know, I like to save a buck wherever I can. But this stuff, I tried the wax that you put in the microwave before, and not long ago, and I hated it. Hated it. Maybe I'm just a moron and I don't know how to use it, but it's, it's gross. It's, it gets hard really, really fast, like hard, hard. And you can't even like get it out and put it on and when you do go to put it on it just all sticks to the little spatula thing it's like this stuff is junk I was ticked off I threw it straight in the garbage I wasn't even I didn't even get one eyebrow it wasn't taking anything off anyways anyway yeah it made me mad so I threw it away and I decided to buy this instead okay and I got some more mascara so other than that that is everything from Walmart yeah so I'm gonna go finish cleaning up the kitchen. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you. Will I see you later or will I see you tomorrow? I don't know. I have an Aldi haul to put up too. And a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> you might see me pop in your news feed again or your feed or whatever again later. I'm not sure. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>